Yolanda, you're wondering how fast they can run. Well, at the moment we're just trotting, and so this is a little kind of hunting pace that we're running at, and this will be very gentle. This will be probably, I would say, about maybe we're running at about five miles an hour, not even, but when they are running at full speed they'll be running at about 35 to 40 miles an hour that's how quickly they'll be going so they're all moving around there's one that's chasing look they're chasing now see how quickly they're starting to run so we're going to try and keep up with them as they go after whatever they're chasing i can't see what they're chasing after i'm trying to keep up with them but they definitely have spotted something there there's impala you see the impala in front it's running so we're going to try and keep up see now there's a big stump here hold on senzo but they're still chasing so hopefully they're going to catch up with that impala but the impala came running from the left hand side and they're going straight towards these other dogs that were this side and i wonder if maybe they're going to have caught this impala So I'm trying to just get around some tree stumps here they come look you can see them running in front of me as they go it's all very fast so we try to keep up and trying to really stick with them but they're leaving us behind because the bush is so bumpy and bouncy i'm trying to sort of stay with them but they obviously are chasing animals too fast for me to keep up and where did they go i saw one dog running this way there they are they're still running look you see they're still chasing so they've gone towards the main road but i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep up with them you can see how quickly they leave us behind so i'm try and get around onto a road and try and use the road to be able to find them but i think we might have lost them now they've gone too fast too quickly for us. but this is why i said that wild dogs are super exciting you can see how fast these dogs ran and how quickly they left us absolutely amazing speed sorry franklin out the road beep beep come on out the road so there's a little franklin which is a type of bird that sits on the road most of the time and they sit there and they kind of just mind their own business now here's some zebras also in front i don't think the wild dogs will chase zebras or is there a wild dog right there there is a wild dog right there so the wild dogs are with the zebras how cool is this now they won't hunt a zebra hunt zebras are a little bit big for them but they might just give the zebras a hard time maybe just maybe there might be a baby zebra that they might chase but how cool is this two of africa's most beautiful animals together now you see look at the zebras chasing the wild dogs you see how this is going so the zebras are big and strong they know that they can chase the wild dogs around so they're now chasing after the dogs you see that zebra is walking towards them this is absolute chaos that is happening how cool is this like there comes the zebra trotting so it's using a bit of its bulk and its size to chase the wild dogs away now the wild dogs know that this isn't really a food item it's not really small enough for them to hunt so they rather going after other things here comes more zebra chasing the wild dogs from the left hand side it's all just chaos <laughs> see they're shouting at the wild dogs how cool is this guys look at that so wild dogs and zebra and together the zebra are coming close and they're going to stick together so they can provide some resistance to the wild dogs and the wild dogs can't get too close to them so it is an amazing thing to watch and to witness there goes the zebra chasing the dogs it's all happening and they're trying to protect the smaller zebra within the group not that there's many small zebras here there's no baby zebras except for that slightly smaller one on the right hand side and so they're trying to protect them as much as possible and trying to be able to look after them now unfortunately i lost my comms lou my comms are back in so i can hear if you're going to ask questions i do apologize if i missed anything i was racing around so much that my earpiece fell out and i didn't even notice but how cool is this this is just so exciting and like i say this is the best thing about safari is that you never know what's going on you never know what's happening any moment anything can happen and the wild dogs are the best animals to follow because they chase things all over the show and you get lots of stuff like this look at the dust and the zebras chasing them there we go look look wild dogs have got to be very careful with zebras because zebras can kick very hard and the dogs can get hurt badly but I really do need to radio the other guys and let them know what's happening because they are crossing into another property and there's other guides that haven't seen these wild dogs so I have to tell them Yeah, stations the dogs have crossed onto Gari Main they're between the Muluwanini and Chitwa Old Driveway static chasing Mangwa if anyone's interested 
So there we go. We've just let them know, and that means that the rest of the guys can hopefully come and find them this side. But it is an amazing sighting of the zebras and the wild dogs. Look at that big zebra behind, and then the dogs just catching their breath. So they're a little bit tired. They've been running around now, and look how the zebras are following them. So you've got wild dogs in front, zebras behind, and it's all just chaotic at the moment. Whew. It's time to just calm down to a bit of a panic again. Whew, I'm getting all flustered from being so excited after seeing all of this. So absolutely unbelievable to watch. This is as epic as it ever will be. You're being absolutely spoiled today seeing one of Africa's most endangered predators interact with one of its prey items. It is so special. We really are getting really treated to an amazing sighting there go the zebras again look they're going to chase these dogs down the road a little bit further so there we go nitrice the dogs will eat all kinds of different animals so they like mammals and they will eat impalas which is like a deer steen box um, scrub hairs which is like a rabbit so lots of different types of animals but let's watch the zebras and the wild dogs because that's what we want to see we don't want to see my ugly mug so let's rather watch them as they get chased down the road together I'm gonna to try and get a little closer and then stop so John if the wild dogs get too close to the zebras then yes the zebras can hurt the wild dogs a kick from a zebra is very dangerous and can really hurt so if they're not careful they're going to get a kick to the face and they're going to get really sore so it is dangerous for a wild dog to go anywhere near a zebra here comes another wild dog coming down from Chitwa Dam and so they're going now continuing along and you can see the zebras are not happy about another dog behind them and they're chasing that wild dog away and so the wild dogs are going to have to all regroup on the other side so we're going to try and just keep up with them as much as possible but how crazy is the sighting wow we're being so spoiled sorry zebras I don't want to make you upset. Now we've got a zebra roadblock. They're going to watch us and make sure there's no more wild dogs with us on this side. Yeah, you can see the dogs just through the gap there in between all of the zebra. Sylvia, a group of zebra is known as either a herd or a dazzle of zebra. And a dazzle is because, look, when all the zebras are together and they're in a tight ball, they look very difficult to see one from another and the stripes all melt into each other. And so it's called a dazzle of zebras when they're all together because it dazzles your eyes. So that's why they get that name. Now the zebras are, are going off onto the left-hand side. So we're going to try and keep up with our dogs, which are still in they are the ones because they are the ones that are causing lots and lots of crazy entertainment so we're going to try and keep up with them and the zebras i think have decided we've chased the wild dogs enough we've moved them away so we can now go off onto the left and carry on on our feeding and the dogs can carry on on their hunting